The six workers still missing after a Baltimore bridge collapsed overnight are now presumed dead. The search has been suspended for the night. Investigators say a massive cargo ship lost power and rammed a support for the Francis Scott Key Bridge. It collapsed seconds later. The ship issued a mayday call allowing crews to limit vehicle traffic just in time. But a construction crew was still on the bridge. Fox's Rebecca Castor reports from Maryland. The nation in mourning tonight as search and rescue efforts in Baltimore are suspended following the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. At this point, we do not believe that we're going to find any of these individuals still alive. Maryland officials say at least six people are presumed dead. The Coast Guard will begin recovery efforts in the morning when conditions are less hazardous. We've got very difficult water temperatures. You have structures from the bridge that are in the water that can move with the tides and currents, making that dangerous for divers. Officials say the bridge collapse caused by a cargo ship appeared to be an accident and a power issue on the ship may be to blame. The National Transportation Safety Board will lead this investigation into what happened. I will have more information about the recorders tomorrow. The collapse is already sparking widespread concern over the economic impact to the area. That's our biggest moneymaker in the whole state right there, the Port of Baltimore. And now your moneymakers shut down. It's a little scary, especially not knowing when the next time they're going to open it up, when the next time you're going to get a job. The shipping channel is considered to be a major route for cargo ships and cruise liners. And President Biden has already vowed the federal government will help fund the rebuilding process. The people of Baltimore can count on us, though, to stick with them at every step of the way. President Biden says he plans to visit the area, but did not give an exact date for the visit. In Baltimore County, Maryland, Rebecca Castor, Fox 4 News.